I'm Chan, this is Shani Reads. This morning I've got like the smallest of book hauls, there's just four books and also I wanted to talk about some booktubers I've been enjoying recently. So the books first, um, Bert bought me this first and he picked it up in a secondhand bookshop um, and this is The Highest Yoga Has Lived in Days of Great Peace, which is such a good title and it's by Mauni Sadhu. And it's from the 50s and it's about a guy i don't know where he's from the guy initially but he has he goes to india um yeah so the original title apparently was in days of great peace Di diary leaves from india so he goes to india kind of gets involved in the the yoga scene and then comes back and writes about it it's a kind of thing i quite enjoy in a book is that uh especially sort of in the 50s 60s 70s of people kind of going to India discovering stuff and then coming back. Um, I guess in some ways it's a little bit questionable, but also I find really interesting too. Um, on the back, it's got this list of other books in this series and they've just got such good titles. These th first three are all by someone called Albert Ellis, PhD. Um, a New Guide to Rational Living, uh, Sex Without Guilt. Uh, part one of, one of them is Thoughts on Petting. Uh, and a guide to successful marriage and then there's also two others psycho cybernetics and a practical guide to self-hypnosis so that one looks really good um i also i bought myself this one which is against memoir by michelle t and this is a collection of her journalism which uh, i'm not sure if i've read any of her journalism i've read i know that she used to write um like star signs for i think it was bust so i used to read those but i haven't read any of her journalism so i'm interested in doing that so there's yeah it looks good. Um, stuff about um, Chelsea Girls, Eileen Miles' book, um, Transmissions from Camp Trans, How Not to Be a Queer Douchebag, How to Refer to My Husband Wife. So this looks great. I'm going to go and see Michelle T. She's on tour. <laughs> I don't know if you call it that. But um, she's going to be in London, so I'm going to get the train to London to go and see her read, which I'm super excited about. And then I've got this one. So this is Metabolize If Able, and this is by Clay... I'm not sure if it's clay ad or clay ad ad sounds better i don't know um and this looks so interesting and thank you to amory from actual spinster who sent me this book because she a while ago she did a like a vlog video about reading this and she really loved it and made me want to read it but it wasn't kind of available i'm not sure if it's available to order online now but it wasn't at the time so she kindly got me a copy and sent it and it looks it's such a cute little book but it looks so good as well um and Clay AD, it says, makes text sounds, videos and movement around themes of sci-fi, illness and ecology. And I think that's kind of the themes in this book as well. So it kind of comes under novel sci-fi. It looks really good. And thank you so much for sending me it. And then I've also got When Women Were Birds, 54 Variations on Voice by Terry Tempest Williams. And this is such a lovely little book, really beautiful. Um, I'd been suggested to read some Terry Tempest Williams by Curious Hmm when I was asking about um, books around women and religion or women and spirituality and she, Terry Tempest Williams has written quite a few and I didn't really know which one to go with but in the end I just went with the one that was most available so they don't seem to be super available in this in the UK so I couldn't get it on Hive so I did have to get it on Amazon at the end. It looks great it's kind of starts with um, her mother dying and telling her that she's giving her leaving her all her journals um so that's that one so those are the books i think they're kind of nice little interesting pile of books and then i just wanted to mention um some booktubers that i've been really enjoying watching recently who've got less than 500 subscribers so one of them is actual spinster who i've already mentioned who um, sent me the book and i love her channel because i just find her take on things just really interesting i think she's incredibly smart and she's really sweet as well and she talks a lot about kind of fantasy sci-fi but also lots of queer books and lots of non-fiction as well and i always um really enjoy her videos when she puts them out um tomes and tunes erin i love her videos too she she's um i think she mainly reads like young adults and young adult fantasy but uh I, I really like her, her take on them and she does lots of tags and she just seems really lovely and interesting as well. Bookish North, which is Elizabeth. So she's in Norway and um, yeah, I really like the books that she talks about as well. She really likes Doris Lessing <laughs> and there's often quite a mix. So a few nonfiction thrown in there as well. Um, yeah, and lots of kind of, inter again, interesting insights on books too. 
um, your true shelf, uh, which is Sarah. I'm buddy reading a book with Sarah at the moment and she is so lovely and I just really enjoy her videos because they feel quite cosy and calming and I think you'd like them too. Um, Soggy expat book nerd, it is Heather. So she's uh, only recently on booktube. I found her when the reading rush was on because she was doing lots of reading rush videos which were just really funny. Heather is really funny, <laughs> so her her videos always make me laugh. There's one recently where she talks about um, Carrie Fish, reading Carrie Fisher, and for part of that she's just laughing. Um, so she's great. Uh, yeah, she's in Cardiff. Did I say that she's American in Cardiff. Um, so there's I just got a little girl. Her videos are funny. And then the last one is Harpies in the Trees, um, and she ha um, mainly talks about horror. And I don't read a lot of horror, but she makes me interested in reading some horror. But also her videos are just so beautiful. And I think she's an American um, woman, but is living in Berlin. So it's got that kind of interesting angle on it as well. But mainly the videos are just so aesthetically pleasing. So that is it. Go and check all of those out. I will link them all in the description. Let me know if you've read any of these kind of interesting looking books. And I will see you soon. Thank you so much. <laughs> Bye.